Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hopefully you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Hopefully this is going to be one of the final videos. Either this one or the next one is going to be the final one. We'll see. But what I planned for today is, depending on the time we have, we're going to make sure the game ends when uh, the player is dead. Also, we're going to make sure that the the balls we're spawning the types of those aren't it, it, they're not spawning in the ratio they are right now so we want to change that ratio and i'm going to do that by creating a function now we already used a way to do that with uh, with the randomization of the number of types but what that does is it's like one of three or 33 percent chance for each of those to spawn well, i don't want that i want it to be a larger percent spawn rate for regular balls and just a low percent for damaging and healing items excuse me there we go uh, okay so I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna create a function here this um, randomize type I'm just gonna do that and it's gonna return an integer to me and I'm gonna go ahead and do that here right under spawn of swag balls because it's part of that and it's gonna be an int uh, you can do a const int here uh, randomize I guess randomize type randomize ball type rather or rand ball type just call it that and we'll run that boom okay we'll get that function right there that we can define rand ball type and it's gonna return a type now we do have different types um, there are several algorithms you might want to use here to get a, a percentage value and change the ratios between those but I'm gonna just do straight up if statements alright and I'm gonna use you know maybe some unclean something that you might not think is optimized but it's no problem you can create variables here without any problems so this type equals zero so or swag balls Swag ball types default. So it's going to be default. And I'm going to return a type. Okay. And if rand. So if a value that I'm randomizing. Um, or let's do. Let's save that value actually. We don't want to do this. Is rand value equals rand. And let's go through uh, 100. Let's say 100. All right plus one so it's gonna go from one to a hundred uh, if rand value is less or equal to or let's see less or greater or greater than 50 let's say 60 actually so up until 60 percent is random default balls if we go above 60 percent and rand value is less than 80 so those 20 right there then we're gonna do a damaging ball type equals swag balls damaging damaging else the remaining part else if rand value you can't just do else because it, it might pick the one that is below 60 or if it's greater than 60 and less than 80 let me think Okay, then it has to be, well, we'll still do it else if it's easier to see what's happening. It's greater than 80 and less than or equal to 100. Then we're going to do type else if, else if, and rand value. Okay, I think that should be good. Healing. So now we have a little function that helps us out and whoops and it's not all that complicated it's just a simple little function we just call it here and it will get us a random ball type we can change it in here as we add more ball types if we want to but for this little simple game this should be enough a little simpler than to do it just in this function itself let's run this hopefully we'll see more regular balls now than 
than damaging ones. And if you keep playing the game, you'll see a lot more regular ones spawn now than uh, damaging and healing ones. Now, you can t tweak this even more if you want. Now, I'm seeing a lot more regular ones. I think that's because there are a lot of red ones already. Um, what we could do above all that is to limit the number of damaging balls you can spawn. But that's up to you. That could be your homework. I can do it. I'm too lazy. <laughs> I'll just be honest with you. I'm too lazy. But what you could do in here uh, is to have a limit. Like you have a max swag balls. You can have max damaging swag balls. Max healing swag balls. And then you check in here if you've reached that number. And if you have, you don't set it to damaging. You leave it at default or you don't set it to healing. All right. So you can, you can kind of do a little extra check in here as you do. And when you spawn that, you you increase that number of uh, swag balls, damaging swag balls. But that's a lot more variables for you. Anyway, this works kind of like I wanted to. You can't. You could increase this this number here as well if you want. Uh, but there we go. Next step is to make sure the game can end properly. So I'm gonna do a little const bool reference very uh, function here. Got get called get end game const and this is just going to return a little thing for me also i'm going to set this to const yeah i'm going to set that to const because it doesn't change anything really um everything else does so but there we go uh get end game and then here we go, and we're just gonna return this end game. And what happens is that if we go to our main.cpp, we just have game that running. What I'm gonna do and and not game dot get end game. So while this get end game is false, we're going to keep working this. And this is also a boolean. We could have done that in there. What you could do is either do this, or if you want. You can go ahead and go into running and you can say this window is open or this end game, not end game. So yeah, you could do this if you want. If we try this out without the, um, or you can say return and this end game equals false. So to make it a little clearer for you, so while the window's open and end game is false, we'll keep running. If you go into main, you remove this, we'll see the same effect. Now you can keep the get end game if you want. It could be good to have in other scenarios, but let's try this. Now, how do we check if the player is dead or not? Uh, in player, we don't have a player update update player thing here. I'm going to create an update player. Void update player. And I'm going to probably put it above collision here. Like that. And I'm going to define this. Like that. And we'll go here to update player. And we'll just go ahead and grab that from the update itself. Player update this window. I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to say this update player here instead and in update player I'm going to paste this update thingy already all right but I'm also going to check if this player dot get HP is less than or equal to zero this end game equals true so then we're going to end the game itself okay if we run try to run this and try to get damaged We'll hopefully see that this is working without any issues, any hiccups. So, okay, I shouldn't be healing myself, obviously, if I want to die. Uh, let's just get some regular swag balls. Okay, I don't know how that gave me health. God damn, okay. Uh, come on, dude, spawn some of them red ones. God, this is going to be a long video. Sorry about this, guys. Oh, my God, I'm gaining more health than I'm losing health. Okay, bro. Oh! Okay, yo. No! Shit, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? 
<laughs> this is so dumb. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What I'm going to do in update. Uh, or when we take damage. I'm going to take a billion damage. And we're just going to die. Uh, where is that? Should be an update. Spawn here. Push back. Spawn. Update collision. Here. Take damage. 10. Let's run this. Okay. Sorry about that. Should have thought that through. Um, but I never do as usual. So okay. Then it quit the game. That's great. That's great. Probably you don't want it to just close like that. You could pause it. Um, and make sure that it prints something out on the screen. Like an end game text. Game over. And then you can close the game. Uh, you could do that if you want. To do that. All you have to do. Is like I'm going to show you now. SF text end game text boom in game.h game.cpp next let's go to init text and let's init the end game text let's say this end game text dot set font equals this font and I'm going to copy this red will be the fill color just paste end game text on these here and then we're going to set this to like 60 and we're just going to leave it at let's see GUI text uh, let's put it further down this end game text dot set position vector 2f and we're going to set it further down in the screen like uh, let's say 300 and maybe no that's the x20 and then 300 something like that and it should be further down at least it'll be red and we'll have our font so that's all good um here what we're gonna do is like i showed you how to close it directly now i'm gonna remove that so at least you know how to close it if you want i'm gonna go to the game function called running again and I'm just going to comment this out. All right. You don't need this right now. If you want it, you can have it later. But I'm going to comment that out. And we're just going to use this window is open. End game is going to be more for displaying this end text and not updating anything. Uh, and the way you do that is you have this main update function, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to say this. No, if this end game equals false. Then we're going to update all of this stuff. Okay. Oops. We're going to keep drawing. But we're not going to update anything. We're going to keep rendering. But we're not going to update anything. And if we're ending the game. If we've de we're dead or whatever. Then we're going to say if this end game is true. You can write equals true if you think it's confusing. True. Then this uh, window dot draw this end game text okay and we're gonna do the same thing now we're gonna take 10 damage I want to make sure that end game text is drawn on our screen instead of anything else once we die and it's not being really drawn okay I forgot to set the string for the end game text I'm dumb text dot set string you just want to say you are dead exit the game boom easy peasy right easy peasy and I just did some stuff to try and end game equals true you don't have to think about that that's just for me testing and then we run this again now you shall see a beautiful end game text and it will tell you to quit and boom, you are dead, exit the game. Bam, exit the game. So it's not direct. It's not in your face directly. The window closes. At least you see what's going on. Then you can just play around with that and see how you want to do it. So it's a very simple game, guys and girls. This will be the final video for this one. I'm sorry. In the next one, we're going to make the health bar. Because we're going to use textures and we're going to use more stuff anyway. So we might as well do all that stuff then. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching this whole game series. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something. 
and I really appreciate all the support. Please check out the description box, all the nice links, my support page, all that stuff. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. And yeah, I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.